Hi, I'm Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter. I'm referred to as The Big Game Hunter because I've been hunting down leaders and staff organizations for 40 plus years. If you've been job hunting for any length of time, you've been turned down for a job. Maybe it was in the no reply to the resume you uploaded to uh, someone's applicant tracking system. Maybe is you went on an interview or two or three with a firm and got turned down. Whatever it was, you've experienced that feeling of rejection and disappointment that often comes with job hunting. Now, in this video, I, would, I just want to offer you some simple pointers for how to deal with rejection. And number one is try not get to focus on your excitement and your desire for this job. Because the statistical probability is you're going to get turned down for more jobs uh, than you're going to be accepted for them. So get used to the notion that you're going to get turned down. Secondly, if you are actually turned down, you know, I would like you to ask the employer or the recruiter what it was that caused you to get turned down or rejected. Now, if it's an applicant tracking system, you know, I hate tracking systems. They are, you know, I use a very simple one uh, so that I'm able to screen everything. But most applicant tracking systems like Taleo, for example, the one that's used by more corporations than any, um, you know, basically all they are is they're screening resumes for keywords in an automated way with no discernment. So uh, if your resume isn't one that uses keywords in a particular sequence, you're going to get rejected. It's really that simple. Uh, and as a result, no one's going to see your resume. No one's going to be able to see that you've actually done the role except you expressed it differently. It's horrible. Um, I, I really detest them, but that's not the purpose of this video. I just want to simply say you're not going to get a response as to why you got turned down by an applicant tracking system. If you got turned down on an interview, Step number one is to ask the employer or the recruiter uh, why it was that you got turned down. You know, often you hear the answer, too light. Too light in what regard? You know, just follow up with the question. And just simply say, you're not here to get into an argument with them. You just want to learn from their observations and, and apply it to future situations. Often an employer isn't going to tell you. Often a recruiter isn't going to tell you. But at least ask the question. Why they won't tell you? Well, these are litigious times. Um, and as a result, if they turn around and say your oral communications were horrible, um, you know, you, you were a featherweight in this line of work, um, you know, they're just afraid of getting sued. So don't expect an answer from them. However, what you can expect to do is to take some time in, in self reflection. What could you have done better? How could you have delivered? You know, your interview even better than the way you did. I'm not saying you did a bad job. Often the reason you're not taken is that someone with more experience uh, comes in and is willing to work for the same amount of money, or someone with more or equal experience is willing to work for less. You know, it's often that simple. Uh, but if there are things that you can learn, ask. And if they're not willing to share them, you've got to spend some time learning from this. Now, here's the most important thing that I can tell you. Just because you failed on this interview doesn't make you into a failure. And as a result, you need to get right back on the horse and get back out there and networking and talking to organizations and f working on finding your next job and not just simply going, Oh, woe is me. Oh, I feel terrible. I'm so disappointed. I'm being facetious, of course. But so often people go into this great funk uh, from which it takes days to come out of. I was talking to someone I coached recently uh, who didn't return my calls for a few days and then decided to surface. And, and he told me that he really expected to get a job he was interviewing for. He didn't, so he decided to take a couple of days off. Okay. Not the way I would suggest it. If anything, you go back out there again. You spend some time having uh, focused on what it is you could have done better. If it was in your control, or how to do with them. If it was them, you go, okay, it wasn't me, and we move on. Uh, if it was you, you figure it out and you change it. It's that simple. So, you know, getting turned on, uh, turned down for a job doesn't have to be a death sentence for you. 
All it is is an opportunity to improve your skills, to learn more, and work harder on finding your next position. So this is Jeff Altman, The Big Game Hunter. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did it, you're watching on YouTube, look down. There's a like button. Um, let people know th this video was helpful to you by clicking the like button. Maybe sign, uh, uh, write, uh, sorry, um, leaving a, a comment for folks, uh, encouraging them to watch the video. Now, you can subscribe to my channel on YouTube, which is The Big Game Hunter TV, all one word, The Big Game Hunter TV, and you get notices whenever I do new video for YouTube. I also want to encourage you to go to jeffwalpin.com and sign up for a complimentary subscription to my e-zine, which is called No BS Job Search Advice. It's published weekly with advice for job hunters that's good anywhere in the world. It's a $499 value I give away for free. Why are at my site? I just want to encourage you to go exploring because there are lots of different pieces of information there, previous articles I've written for the e-zine, uh, podcasts on my radio show, as well as things that you can actually do in order to find work. You know, there are places that you can post your resume to. There's information about my books and guides to job hunting that you can order, and a few of them you can actually read on my website. You know, there's just lots of good information at jeffalpin.com, so go exploring. Two more things, please. First of all, if you haven't already done so, send me a connection request on LinkedIn. The address is linkedin.com forward slash in forward slash the big game hunter. I accept connection requests from people all over the world, except if you're a third party recruiter or in a country known for scams or spam. Lastly, if your firm's trying to hire someone, send me an email at the address below. Let me know who to contact and whether or not I can mention your name. I'd love to help your firm staff positions. So this is Jeff Altman. Hope you have a great day. Take care.